All right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again here on Mod Monday. Now, today's Mod Monday, it's going to be a little bit of a clusterfuck. So my review today is going to be on this. This is the Jabo Wismec Vaping with Twisted 420 uh, Relo RX 75 kit. Okay. Up until today, it was working good. Not amazing, but still good. You'll see in the upy closey portion what happens, but it kind of all falls apart. Before we get there, I do have to remind everyone that yes, the FDA is currently trying to take away your access to life-saving vapor products. So do everything you can, get involved, follow Kasaf, follow Not Blowing Smoke, follow the calls to action, call your congressmen, call your representatives, ask them to support and co-sponsor both HR 2058 and the Cole Bishop Amendment. You have to stand up for your vaping rights. So yeah, like I said, we're talking about the Relo RX 75 today. It was a little bit of a clusterfuck. In order to get there, um, we're gonna have to go up and closey. I don't have anything to vape in front of me because my RX 75 refuses to function properly. So we're just gonna go to up and closey time now. <clears throat> All right, yeehaw. What we have here is the Relo RX 75 from Wismec, inspired by Mr. Vaping with Twisted 420. What this is is an aluminum single 18650. 75 watt temperature control device it's got this little hidden panel right here so you can kind of see your display happening right here this is a display it looks really good I actually really like the way this looks it's stylized very nice I have it in wattage mode right now but you can three click on the button but oh oh Where's the button? A lot like the Pressa, the button is this whole part back here. This is also doubles as a battery cover, so battery goes in, positive side down, negative side up, battery goes in, this clicks on, and then this is also your button. And you can ever so slightly see it sort of click in. Click. No? Are you seeing this? Click. 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 No? Okay. Well, it clicks in. You'll have to take my word for it. There is an actual physical lockup here, which I'm never a huge fan of. You kind of have to get in there with your fingernail to lock it. Now it's locked, and you can kind of go, uh, and then unlock it. I just bypass that completely because you can five on, five off this. Uh, I don't know what's happening. I don't know why it's flashing. Uh, okay. Hey, that's new. Well, this is something interesting that I've never run into before. Um, when I try to press the button, it gives me a device too hot, which has happened a lot. That's something I was going to talk about later, but now I can't even seem to get the damn thing to work. And that's really bumming me out. Let me try a different battery. How about you, MXJO? Are you going to work and give me the same? Yeah. What the hell is going on? Seriously, what the hell is going on, Jabo? What the hell's going on here, Wismac? Okay, I turned it off. Let's try to turn it back on. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, okay. <sighs> I'm super confused. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. That definitely says positive, and that definitely says negative. This is definitely the negative, and that is definitely the positive. Ready? What the hectic is happening right now? Okay. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so I flip this switch. Okay, no, it keeps flashing for some reason. Hmm. Um, hmm. Okay, well, shit. God damn it. Okay. Okay, well, look. It's back to normal now, but it's locked. It is locked, but it is back to normal now. So you can adjust the wattage, right? Okay. Well, now we're kind of getting somewhere, so let's unlock it. Okay, now we're in business. Nope, uh, it's flashing and giving me a device too hot. Okay, uh, haven't really been using this. Don't know why it's saying device too hot, so I guess I'll let it cool down and see if that fixes it. <laughs> All right, well, you want an honest review, you're going to get an honest review. I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. I've tried a multitude of batteries. This is a rewrapped LG HE4. I've tried the LG HD2s, MXJOs, sub-ohm cells, all sorts of different batteries. 
cannot get this thing to work right now all of a sudden. The only solution that I've found so it stops flashing is to take the atomizer off. But as soon as I take the little Armor Plus tank, which is actually a really nice little sub-ohm tank, it's included in the kit. As soon as I plug this on here, it starts flashing. It starts flashing like crazy. Take it off. Battery life comes back. Screen comes back. Press the button. just says no atomizer found. Plug this on like this. Screen starts flashing, and it gives me a device too hot. Uh, I let it sit for about 10 solid minutes in an air-conditioned room. I don't know why on earth the device would be too hot. This is a warning I was actually getting right out of the box. The first, the absolute first time I plugged this on and pressed the button, nothing happened. I opened it, I pressed it again, it said device too hot. So I went, Wow, that's really weird. So I replaced the battery, I plugged the tank back on, I pressed the button, started vaping like normal, so I was just vaping, 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 vaping like normal. But now, not only is it giving me a device too hot sort of malfunction, but when I plug this on, the screen flashes. And Well, okay, cool, and now nothing, nothing is happening. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there you go. Yeah, hey, look at that, now we're... We're flashing like crazy again. Um, this is on the newest and only firmware that exists for it right now. There are no updates as of this recording to this firmware. So maybe this is something that could be solved in a future firmware update. But I am actually truly and honestly very bummed out right now that this is just malfunctioning like crazy. And don't worry, this is a clear wrap on this battery. Let's try the other LG HD2 that I have. Uh, yeah, okay, there you go. Now if I plug on the tank, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Is it gonna start flashing? Yes, it's gonna start flashing. What if I try something else? What if I try a different atomizer? Maybe that Armor Plus tank has shorted out, and that's what it's showing me. Let's try a Dot Mod Petri version 2. No, it still does the same fucking thing. What the hell? Wismec, seriously, look how matchy-matchy my battery and atomizer are. But seriously, it's just, okay, okay, okay. There you go. This RX 75 Reload right now is completely useless to me. It was giving me a couple issues, and it seems like today is the day when I go to shoot video, and it finally craps out on me. Okay, I got it locked. It's showing me a normal display. Plug this on. Nope, it starts flashing again. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That really bums me out. I actually really like this device and I liked using it even though it would give me the occasional device too hot for absolutely no reason. But yeah, we're just going to set this to the side. I want to talk real fast about this Armor Plus tank. It is a sub-ohm tank. You have airflow here on the bottom. Clockwise will open it up. Counterclockwise will close it off. It's a top fill so you unscrew it right here and you bleh your juice in there which I'm about to do right now bleh. and when you're filling this armor plus tank I cannot go all the way to the top don't go all the way to the top because you'll be cleaning up a leaky mess once you screw this back on no matter how full yep see see all the juice that just leaked out of the top right there you kind of have to you kind of have to fill it a little bit lower than the line because it's going to kind of leak out the top otherwise the vape that you get from this tank is actually pretty nice i've put roughly 40 mils of juice through this tank and it's just now starting to kind of taste maybe a little bit on the funny side included has a little tiny clear little drip tip but you can use it without the drip tip as well which is kind of cool i do that all the time but plug your little drip tip on here nice little tank armor plus tank i actually really like it wish i could use it on the relo rx 75 but uh yeah, what are you going to do? I guess I'm going to try to troubleshoot some shit and we'll get back out to normal view and maybe vape this? Normal view. Normal view. So yeah, I got on Google and I searched around for troubleshooting the Relo RX75. I Google searched for Relo RX75 flashing screen. I Googled for Relo RX75 uh, device to hot warnings and I got nothing. It came up with nothing. I went over to the Wismec site and went to their software upgrade section. They do not have a firmware update 
for the Relo RX75. All they have is the Pressa TC75 watt, they have the Relo RX200, and the Relo RX200 S. They have nothing for the 75. And that really bums me out because Overall, I love the way this mod looks. I got the black on black version, but there is black with like white in these little crevices. There's red in these little crevices, and there's like this cool Tron looking blue in these little crevices. Overall, this mod looks cool, and the button on it is very, very cool. And when you have this all together with the tank on the inside, yeah, it works awesome and it looks cool. Unfortunately, Mine just started falling apart at the seams almost quite literally. So as I've been using this over the past month or so, I kept getting uh, device too hot warnings, device too hot, device too hot. When I freshly pick it up to use it after not being used for like 20 minutes to 30 minutes to an hour, I would pick it up, try to take a toot, nothing happens. I look at my little screen and it goes, oh, device too hot, shit. I wonder what's causing that. I don't know what's causing that. I figured it was just a little quirk that I was going to have to mention in the review that I get the device too hot constantly. Well, now it won't work at all. I plug on the atomizer. The screen just flashes like crazy, like you saw in the up close -y. The only way that I can get rid of that screen flashing is to take the atomizer off. But then it's just the thing. It's just the thing with a battery and no atomizer and you can't vape it and it doesn't work. For some reason, it doesn't work. So what I did is I plugged the Armor Plus onto my M17. This is, in actuality, a really cool little sub-ohm tank. It's small, Pyrex glass, top fill, small little tank, and it looks and works great on that Relo 75 when the Relo 75 is actually working. Stellar airflow stellar flavor these coil heads are quite nice like i said i put about 40 mils of juice through this it's starting to just now taste very very slightly off and i'm very sensitive to things like that it starts to get this sort of wet cardboard flavor kind of going on in there it's just starting now i could easily put another 20 mils of juice through this tank the flavor would still be fine and the performance would just be great the airflow on it super nice i have it opened up all the way like i said clockwise will open it up all the way counterclockwise by spinning this little ring on the bottom it's almost mouth to lung you can almost mouth to lung it it's close. It's actually a better mouth to lung than the K-Fun 5 on its closed, most closed airflow setting. But I like to open this up and I like to go just full on clouds bro clouds. It works nice. It's a nice little tank, but without the mod to put this tank on, then bah, then just bah. This really bums me out. If anybody has any idea what's going on with this. I've never run into this before. I've never seen this flashing. It just flashes. I don't know what's going on. If I lock it, you saw this in the up closey, it kind of goes away for a second and then it comes back. And then if I unlock it, it stays for a second. I get my battery life back and then it just keeps flashing. Doesn't work. I press the button. It gives me device too hot warning. So there you go. I don't know. They only sent me one. I can only review what is in front of me. I've only had this for about a month. It is the production model. It doesn't say uh, display only or sample. This is, uh, yeah, I mean, okay, obviously these aren't numbered, but this is a production model. I got this about a month ago. I was all stoked to do a review of it. I thought I was going to have to talk about like the quirky device too hot warning, which hmm, I don't know. Maybe they can fix it with a firmware upgrade. I'm really hoping that they can fix this flashing screen of death in a firmware upgrade. If anybody has any information about it, let me know. That's one of the coolest things to do ever as well. You pop this open. You go, oh, okay, my wattage is set to here. Boom, snap it closed like a freaking Zippo lighter. This is a cool mod, just is broken. Mine is broken, it doesn't work. I don't know what's going on with it. I've only had it for a month and that really bums me out because generally I'm a really big fan of Jabo and Wismack and the things that they do. And I'm also a bigger fan of Mr. Vaping with Twisted 420 and I know he wouldn't put his name on anything shitty. And to me, right now, 
this is shitty. I can't get it to vape. It just sucks. If I had spent 50 bucks on this after a month of use, it starts flashing and not working at all. I would be pissed off. What I'm going to do is put some links down in the description to both the Wismac site where you can check out everything about this. You can see all the different colors, the blue, the red, the white, the black on black, everything about it. I'm also going to link in the description to Element Vape where they have it on in stock right now for 49 bucks. That's the cheapest I've kind of found it around. Vapor DNA was a little bit more expensive at $55 and Element Vape has it in stock right now for $49. If you want to gamble, if you want to take the risk and, and roll the dice and see how it goes and see if your Relo RX-75 lasts longer than mine, then cool. If not, I completely understand if we're playing the Aliens game, or in this case the FDA game, where they come and take all of my vape gear and I have literally no vape gear at all, is the Relo RX-75 kit something I would seek out and buy? At this stage... Definitely not. I would definitely not spend the money on this. The tank is great. If I could buy the tank separately, sure. It's a nice cranking little sub-ohm tank. Good flavor, good vapor. All around, nice tank. The mod itself, I don't know what's going on. And it really, really, really bums me out. So, maybe I'll do an update video in the future via a vlog. If anybody knows what's going on, let me know. I may even hear from j -Bo himself i have a feeling someone will send him this video and he'll he'll contact me and maybe we can figure out what's going on with this relo rx75 together but as it stands it's doing literally nothing but taking up space on my desk right now so that's what i got it is what it is thank you so much for watching everybody don't forget fight for your vaping rights you don't have to do everything but you do have to do something thanks so much for watching everybody and as always yeah uh, no vape to take this out. Let's keep on vaping. That's enough.